The truth is I have no idea how to do what I've done or how to translate that into something that you can do to make it better. That's the thesis of the whole video. I have no idea what to tell you so that you can make your life better. Because I'm not you. I didn't make your choices. I don't have your health conditions. I wasn't born to your parents or where you lived or anything like that. I have no idea. But I know what I did. And I know where I come from. And I know what works and what doesn't for me. So here's a little story. I chose to drag us across the country thinking I could do sales. I'll go into solar sales and we'll move to Arizona and get rich quick kind of thing. You know, not like super quick, but uh, sales is a great path for people who want to make more money than they're currently making. If you can figure out how to do it. I could not figure out how to do it to the point that after we had moved and a little ways into that, we realized we're not going to make rent this month. We're not going to make it. I dragged that thing out so long that we were on the point of homelessness. The, the next month, we'd be out on our, on our feet trying to figure things out. So it turned out terribly making that decision. Uh, we ended up getting three jobs each. Uh, we're talking gig work. Um, she got a job at the carnival. I was delivering food. I eventually took a job at the carnival as well. Uh, I got a seasonal job at Costco. That was interesting. I've never showed up to a Costco at 1 a.m. before, but uh, hey, they needed people to stock the shelves, and there I was. And it was a very trying fall season. You know, during the summer, trying to do the sales thing, that collapsed on its face, and we're sitting there not knowing what to do, so then we're working throughout the rest of the year. My wife's got a master's degree. She's working part-time at a Starbucks. <laughs> There's, I could just keep listing the things that we're doing, but uh, suffice it to say, we were, we were struggling, we were in pain, we were fighting a lot, and it wasn't comfortable for my wife with a master's degree to go get a job at Starbucks again, something that she had done before even going to college. Believe me, I heard it, okay? Uh, there was a time I was on a lunch break at my Costco job. Lunch, you know, it's like 6 a.m., right? And she calls me, and I'm sorry, honey, but <laughs> she's yelling at me, get a job. Get a job! Just get a job! <laughs> and I'm sitting there, you know, one bloodshot eye after stocking a bunch of shelves and uh, on my lunch break at my job, one of them. And <laughs> that, that stuck with me deep, deep in my soul. Uh, just get a job. It, uh, if I wasn't feeling rushed before then, I was definitely feeling that uh, motivated push afterwards. <laughs> I gotta figure this out. I gotta figure this out right now. And so from there, it was just throw stuff at the wall. Like, what am I gonna do? Where am I gonna get hired? I can apply to all these dozens of different places and you never really hear back from them. And then when you do, you fumble the interview and freaking out, right? So I start studying for the uh, uh, CompTIA A plus exam. You know, it's a, a IT basics kind of thing. You know, I've always been good with computers. Uh, I like them. I could, I could make this into a job, right? And so I'm, I'm applying to all these different help desk positions and uh, studying for the A plus. And uh, one day I get off shift at Costco. It's getting near the end of the year. Um, so I'm sitting there, I don't know, 10 a.m., noon, somewhere around that time. And I'm in an interview for a help desk job at a local school. And they're asking every question I've ever studied. Just uh, like help desk interview questions. You know, and you study those and you figure out what the answers are and what you don't know. You then know what to look up, right? I'm trying to break into the industry. I need to speed run this thing, right? And just lucky break. Yeah, I, I recognize what they're asking. I understand the question. I can actually answer it because I've been exposed to it. Do I have experience with it? Not very much. I mean, like studying for the labs for the A+, plus, maybe, but not a lot. But they don't care. They're impressed with my, my interviewing, and it's, it's like help desk plus. They're, they're bringing you in. You, you'll be fine. So I get that job, and everything's looking up. Just a, just a little bit. You know, my pay went up by like $2 an hour. It was cool. Costco pays pretty well. I mean, you should 
look into it if you're if you're looking for work. I mean, they start you off at like 15 an hour these days. Way to go, Costco. Um, and since that hustle time, since that fear of like everything I've done has failed and I've let my family down again and again and again, uh, that's what it feels like when you're in sales and nothing good is coming from it. When you're not performing well, when your sales aren't selling, um, you come home empty handed because you're paid on commission only. It sucks. And so going from $0 to $15 and then to $17 an hour, you're feeling just a little more relaxed, right? And that process continues. Uh, you, I basically just hit my head against textbooks, against documentation, against a home lab kind of thing where you just dive in and build stuff and do stuff and break stuff and just kind of get to learn the technology over time. In my case, I was going into IT, right? Um, and that becomes a part of you as you just crash course it. And so from there, many years ago, I mean, we were coming up on a deadline too, where when I met my wife, she told me, in two years, I'm gonna have kids. And I was like, that's great, I want kids, I like you. I got on board the kid train, you know, so we're coming up on let's have some kids. And I'm not in a place where I think I can support kids. I'm not in a place where <laughs> I don't have a house. I still have student loan debt. I, I'm making like 17 an hour. I'm, I'm freaking out, right? But uh, you just trust the process. Keep learning, keep practicing, keep going through the motions of, of absorbing knowledge through osmosis, right? Like um, the, the hopelessness that I was feeling six months beforehand was gone. And now I have this motivation, this drive internally to go, <laughs> get a new skill and increase your income by progressing through your career. Okay, so for me, that was computers, right? That was four years ago, roughly. Doesn't seem that long, but uh, I wanted to tell you that little story because in... The last two years, I've doubled my income. In the last four years, I've tripled it. Just by picking something and drilling into it. And I don't know how to tell you how to do that. I don't know how to translate that because I don't know where you are. And I don't want to recommend everyone get into computers because I think it's saturated. Like everyone's going to need someone for help desk and systems administrators and cloud engineers and programming is great too. Go into that, sure. But getting into that bottom rung, right now it's horrible. It's going to be ebbs and flows constantly. I could tell you like, yeah, go learn to code. But honestly, I don't think that's the wisest right now. It's a useful skill going forward over the next hundred years. I mean, it'll be a great career. Knock yourself out. But Honestly, if I were to do it again, I'd, I'd probably go into plumbing. Go into a trade. <laughs> it's, it's not end-all, be-all, best of everything. Yeah, your body's going to take some hits, and yeah, it's long hours and a hard work, all that jazz. But we're lacking trades, people. We need some plumbers. need electricians. We need, <laughs> that's, those aren't going anywhere, and the robots we're working on building aren't going to replace them anytime soon. In fact, I'll probably be replaced before you. Mr. and Mrs. Tradespeople, congratulations. So I've been thinking about community a lot today. Thinking about uh, people in my sphere of influence. And some people are okay, they're doing well. Well off, you might say. And some people came from struggle and some people are like me, just trying to build up. Born into poverty kind of figured some stuff out, made some really bad mistakes, and then and figuring stuff out now. Great, great, great. But I want you to know that it's possible. It's possible. You, I can't guarantee that you're going to be the next IT specialist and make a poop ton of money. No, and I can't guarantee that you become a plumber and uh, you're a millionaire, congratulations. No, 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 no. But you will find a way forward when you need to. <laughs> that sounds like, that's so condescending, right? You're, you're at your job for 12 hours, you come home, you're exhausted, you're completely depressed, and this guy over here is just like, you'll find a way when you need to. 
as paradoxically inclined as that phrase is, uh, yeah, you'll find a way when you need to. It'll take little steps, tiny little pieces of your life that you got to fit together better than you are now. And I'm sorry to phrase it that way. Uh, it, it sucks when you're, when you're working for $12 an hour and you're exhausted every day. And then this guy over here is telling you like, how's your health? Are you eating good food? Are you exercising? What, what energy am I using to exercise? What, what are you talking about? What time? I got to go home and feed some kids and, uh, you know, make a deal with my landlord to pay rent late. Like, no, I, I get it. I get it. Okay, I grew up with a single mother. We regularly didn't pay our bills. It was very bad. And then when mom was out of the picture, I was living with dad. And dad had just gotten out of jail. We regularly chose between, do we put gas in the car or food in the fridge? That's, that's where I come from. Okay, I get it. I get it. And then I've made crazy mistakes. I'll expand on those later in the past. But it really comes down to fixing the little things that then add up to the bigger picture. So yeah, it has to do with, are you eating well? Yeah, are you getting enough sleep? Yeah, are you exercising? Those are just little parts that will improve your mood, that will make you feel a little bit better, give you a little bit more focus so you can take that documentation, that book, and just beat it against your head until it's a part of you, and then you qualify for the next job, right? That's what worked for me, and Frankly, I think everyone can do it. It just depends where you're at and what you're willing to do to get there. And my heart goes out to people in situations where they're struggling, where it feels impossible, where you're, you're beat down and hopeless and struggling. You're struggling and you're working hard. You're already working hard. And that paradoxical statement comes out again and again telling you, like, just do more just work harder. I had people in sales tell me that. I was like, hey, how do I get better? Can I work on the script a little more? Is there like, what am I doing wrong in my pitch? And they would just say, just do more. And I want to launch them into the stratosphere. Like, I don't know how to do more. I'm going through this constantly, just trying to get better so that I can provide for my family. What helped me in that situation was realizing I was barking up the wrong tree. I'm not a salesman. I'm not, it's not for me. I should play to my strengths. Remember Harry Potter? Mad Eye Moody tells him that. Play to your strengths, Harry. That's exactly right. Maybe you're barking up the wrong tree. And I'm, of course, Luke, I'm barking up the wrong tree. I work at a gas station. You think this is what I want to do the rest of my life? No, and you make a great point. What do you want to do? Maybe take some time to figure that out. Maybe go for, go for a walk with yourself. Figure out, like, where do you want to go? What do you want to study? What do you want to get good at? And then just drill into that thing. The funny thing about this whole thing with YouTube is it's kind of free. You probably have a phone. You probably have a computer, something with a camera in it, right? You could just put something out there. And if you're better at it than I am, you're going to get some followers. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> no matter what the topic is, whatever you're talking about, people are going to watch your videos because of you, because of your personality. So maybe that's an option. Maybe it'll help you organize your mind a little better so that you know what direction you want to go in just by ranting. You know how many people have made it just by having like vlog style things? They're just talking into a camera and relating to others. You probably talk about how hard your life is. Bet you'd get some really cool followers for that. Like there's there's some way forward is what I'm trying to say. Okay, all that aside, all my arrogance aside, don't focus on that. Focus on the message I'm trying to give you that there is some bright light on the horizon, some amazing opportunity for you, and you don't see it right now because you're so exhausted. Those little things that you'll fix will help you be a little less exhausted. That walk with yourself will help you identify actually what direction do I want to go in? I actually really like insects. I'd love to study insects more. I bet you there's a job related to that out there. Okay? Like figure out whatever that thing is. And then just grind the heck out of it. You just, you just bash it against your head until it's part of you. And then you can move up the expert ladder. That's it. That's all I got. I, 
the people who are like, pull yourself up by your bootstraps. I... Darn you. <laughs> because they're right. But they're wrong. Because they don't understand how complex the whole situation is. It's not just like, work harder. Well, work harder at what? Work... <laughs> you got to figure out what to work harder at. I lucked out because, you know, people want to hire people for computers and I have a proclivity for computers. Great. But whatever it is for you, you need to identify it and just attack it. And you'll, you'll get there. And it'll be just fine. I'm really curious what you, uh, what you decide to do. Because um, there's 8 billion people on the planet. They're all doing something to get by. And if you find some way to help them as well, I mean, astronomical growth from there. You're going to get better and better as you serve more people. But that's, well, that's way outside the scope of this conversation. Um, yeah, I think I'll tell some more stories about where I come from eventually. And maybe we can relate in that. And I, I really wish you luck out there. Good, good luck. Hang in there. Because, man, sometimes when there are no doors, no open windows, the only option left is to break a hole through the wall. And you can do it. Hey, good luck. Talk to you later. Bye.